all you lovely learners out there in learning land, Tyler from 10thumbspro.com coming at you with another ukulele tutorial like we do every single Wednesday and Saturday. Today we're breaking down Heart of Gold in the chord melody style by Neil Young. As always, I'm going to have all the tabs on the screen so you can follow along note for note, but you can print out these tabs and tabs for all our tutorials by becoming a Patreon. Links in the notes and links below. But if you came just because you want to make that ukulele sing and you want to let everyone know that you're looking for a heart of gold, that's cool. I dig it and I respect it. Grab the ukulele, brain and attention span. Once you have those three things, follow me on in and let's break this lesson down together. Come on in. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to start with the intro. Um, this intro should look familiar if you've done the singer version. And if you're just looking for the singer version too to complement it, um, I'll put a link in the notes as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with this little riff. And this starts on the fourth beat before things get started. You're gonna E string, hammer fifth to seven, and you're gonna drop down and do that same movement here on the A string. So it's four E and a one to that open E. Just practice that. Because you're also gonna see this in the outro. Then you're gonna make this E minor shape here and you're gonna strum down four times, okay? The tabs here on the screen, that's how you should know how to make this E minor shape, O, four, three, two, okay? So the chords, I'm not gonna go in too much depth in. If you don't know the E minor, D, C, and G, this lesson's gonna be a little over your head anyways. So you get two and three and four and one and mute and down two times on the D, mute, and then change that E on the offbeat. So you get one and two and three, four. When you get back to that four, you're gonna start to shred. So that really slow we get four E and a one, two and three and four and one and two and three. All right, really trying to hit this on the fourth beat so you can hit that open E string on the first beat. Now how many times you go around in this circle is really up to you. I'm probably only gonna do it two times. And when I'm ready to go from the verse to the chorus, you're gonna see at the end of these tabs, I just have a down, up, down, up, where we did. Down, up, down, up. So notice four notes, four strums. So if I'm playing it like I'm transitioning into the verse, it's gonna sound like this. and that down right there would be the first one into the song. So why don't we play through it two times like I'm playing to kick off this song. Here we go. All right, and then we're into the first verse. Let me play the first verse for you one time. Strangely enough, the first verse, usually they're eight measures or 16 measures. This one's only six measures. So kudos to Neil for not following the rules. I appreciate that a lot in songwriting, especially I've done 900 tutorials. It's nice when some people break out of that little box. So here we go. The first verse sounds like this. into the chorus. So the first measure, which is gonna establish a lot of the groove, E minor, first beat, there's no melody, so I'm just gonna go down. Right after that, I'm gonna use my index finger and I'm gonna grab the third fret of the E string, one and, and then my thumb through the first three strings, G, C, and A, using this, or E, using this A string as a trapeze to catch my thumb, because there, the melody's the G string, or the G note, and then another G note, open G string. So the first half bar of the verse. No melody, three, thumb through the first three strings, open G. 
What's cool about that G is you can use that extra time because we're going all the way up here to make a C string, or a C chord, excuse me. Seventh fret of the C string, eighth fret of the E string, and seventh of the A. Now maybe you're wondering, why would I do my C chord here instead of here or here? Well, E note is the melody, and your ear is gonna hear the highest note. So you wanna come up and grab this, and you're gonna go three, down, up, down, up. Or even just down, up, down on the fourth beat. Four, E, and. So that first measure, really slow. And notice how over the C chord, by using my thumb, I can get that melody to really pop. But when I strum, I'm using my index finger because I, there is no melody there, so I want it to be just a harmony. Really slow, that first measure again. And we're going to a D chord here. We're gonna make this D based on this A shape. Seventh fret, sixth fret, fifth and fifth. And you're gonna strum through with your index finger, no melody. And then index finger, you're gonna grab that fifth fret on the off beat. One and, and thumb all the way through. Then you remove it and play the open A. What you'll notice, A is a chord tone of the D. So that first measure there you get, or the first half of the measure, right to that G, with the B note being the melody. So that second measure, the first half, and another down, up, down. Now the strumming here is ultimately up to your discretion. If you feel like the down, up, down is too hard, you can do a down there. If you want a down, up, down, up, you can, where there's no melody, you're just trying to use harmony, and you're just using harmony as a sense of rhythm. So feel free to remove strums and add strums based on your personal preference. I would say try to get it as close to what I'm doing here as possible, and then you can take time to, you know, put your own stamp on it, put your own style. So those first two measures of the verse, Now take those first two measures really, really slow and get them down, master them. You want them to be perfect because that's gonna be the base of the verse. For example, the next two measures, are really similar. So what do we got going on? The E minor is exactly the same. And when you jump up to the C again, this time, the melody is gonna go three and four and. So you're gonna strum through the C, pluck the E note, or A string, E note, A string, strum through again, and then pluck it again. Three and four and. So that measure, measure three of the verse, And this time when you go to the D, you're gonna strum through with your thumb because the melody is that D note. So index finger is more just to keep the pace. Thumb is more to make the melody pop. So that first half of that measure. Then you're gonna go down here, open two, which is funny because the melody is this B note, but he's singing it before the G. That's pushing the melody forward, which is a really cool vocal technique, but it makes it a little trickier for the chord melody. So you're gonna strum through with your D, one, two, and three, down on the G, and then down, up, down with the G. So that second measure would be. All right, those first, okay, so those first four measures, nice and slow. And now we're in the last two measures of the verse. Okay, the last two measures are gonna resemble the first two measures a little more than the second two. The only difference is our C, so we're gonna go three, four, and that E note's gonna be the melody on the third and fourth beat, so we get. And 
then we get into the chorus. So let's play through the whole first verse together. And then we get into the chorus. So let's break down the chorus together. The chorus is a more traditional number. It's an eight bar loop. It's essentially the same loop um, with some minor variations. So let's break down the first four measures. The first form, or the first measure is going to be entirely E minor. First beat, no melody, so you strum through with your index finger. And you're gonna remove your middle finger because you're gonna get the E note in there. And then you're gonna strum all the way through with your thumb on the second beat. Because this second note here is our melody. You're gonna remove that finger, play the E or A note, put it back down, strum through with your thumb, remove it, open A string, and just walk down, E string, C string. So that measure really slow, you get one and two and three and four and a little slower. Make a G through with your thumb because we got melody here and then we're gonna jump up and we're gonna bar with our ring finger the seventh fret of the C E and a string strum all the way through that's like a G add six the E note is the sixth interval so it's like a G add six but right after you do that you're gonna get this D note here fifth fret of the A string on the offbeat and then you're gonna play O seven seven five down, up, down, down to a traditional G shape, down, up, down. So that second measure, really slow, we get one, two, and do, 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 do. One more time, nice and slow. Put those two together and you get Slam into a C chord, no melody, and then you're gonna pluck the C and the E at the same time. Open E. Take your middle finger, get it on the third fret of the E string here. Pluck again, same two fingers. Only E string, and the same two fingers. So you get one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four down two times on the C. This is a similar rhythm to when we started. Mute, down on a G. And then a quick down, down, up, down. So those four measures for the chorus, we get. We turn it over. We're back to the second four measures. We're back to the top. The only difference here is going to be that first measure. You're going to strum through the E minor with your index finger. Nothing on the off beat. All the way through with your thumb. Two. Keep the finger down. And three. And then from there it'll be the same. So just the first measure. and then the rest is the same. So the whole second half would be. All right, then you're into the second verse. Let's play the whole chorus though. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And then we're into the second verse. Yeah.
The second verse shares a lot of similarities as the first verse. The only real difference is sometimes instead of strumming, you're gonna be plucking out two melody notes. For example, the first two measures, you can see that on both the C and the G. Here, all that strumming was replaced with over the C and over the G. So those first two measures, The thir third and fourth measure are the exact same as the first verse. And then the fifth and sixth are the same as the first and second. So that's the second verse. Let's play through the second verse together. And then we get into the second chorus. Good news, second chorus, exact same as the first chorus. So we can play through that one time and then we get into the outro. The outro is a mix of a couple of things, like a mix of the chorus and the intro. Okay, so the outro is pretty cool. It's a mixture of the chorus and the intro. I tried to get that, sneak that riff back in there. So let's take a look at it. The first measure, you're gonna make that E minor and you're gonna go all the way through. Now here there's harmony too, there's three voices. I picked the lowest voice um, because we only have, it's the, it's the principal voice, but there is some other voices going on in here. So what I'm doing here is I'm strumming through with my index finger, no melody first beat, one, and then I'm grabbing my index finger again on the off beat on the A string. One and two with my thumb and three So we're gonna make that D chord, strum all the way through, let that A ring out, get the second fret of your C string, that D note, and then slide it up to that four, down, up, down. Now, then from there, the riff would start. So those first two measures, really, really slow, we got up there. One and two and three and four and one, two and down, down, down. When you get through those first two measures, you're gonna hit that open E two times, because the first one is just the rhythm, but the second one is the melody, he's singing that E note. One and, that and there he's singing, and we're gonna make that B minor, or E minor, and do the same thing. Two and three and four and D. So up to there we get. This time it's a little different because we're not going to only hit just that D note, we're also going to hit the high A, two, two and, up to that fourth fret, E minor, down, up, down, and then our riff again. So those first four measures of the outro, Oops, that E minor was an E flat minor at the end. So the last four measures, we're gonna hit that open E two times again, one and, and then you're gonna strum through the E minor, high B string, two and, third beat again, three and, open A, G. So just that measure you get, one and, two and, three and, four and, one. From here, it should be familiar because it's the same as the chorus. Down to that C. Down, down, mute, down, mute, down, down, mute, G. And 
that's the end. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. And that's the end of the tune. So why don't we go ahead and take it from the very top and we're gonna play through the whole song together. I know you can do it, let's just take it nice and slow. From the top, here we go. One, two, three. All right, everybody, that was it. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. Tyler from 10thumbspro.com. We appreciate you. Again, think about getting those printable tabs up here. And until next time, keep on rocking, keep on rolling, keep on loving life, and keep on jamming that ukulele because life is good, my friends. Take care of yourselves. Cool, everybody. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. We appreciate you here at 10thumbspro.com. Remember, new ukulele every single Wednesday and Saturday. Subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a lesson. Think about becoming a Patreon. All support turns into support. Um, you get tabs for every lesson, you learn faster, and it helps me push myself to do a better job as well. Skype Lessons 101 if you're interested. Email me 10thumbsproductions at gmail.com. And until next time, keep on rocking and rolling, keep on loving life, keep on playing the ukulele. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you next Wednesday or Saturday for our next lesson. Take care.